In today's video, we're actually going to cover the tool known as the high resolution screenshot um, inside of our viewport to be able to get some really nice, crisp, high resolution screenshots uh, directly captured inside of Unreal Engine. But there's a couple little tips that I'll show you um, that you may or may not know about. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so shout out to Michigan Studios for uh, this really awesome pack. So this is on the marketplace. Um, it is on the steeper end of pricing, but I can tell you, um, after having dissected a lot of this, um, it is an excellent pack. In fact, it's uh, it's extremely high quality, um, and you get exactly what you see. Um, so with that, if you want to follow along, uh, this is the Gothic Mega Pack uh, by Michigan Studios. So this is the marketplace. Feel free to take a look at that. So we'll be using this for a few videos, um, but if you want to pick that up, definitely head on over and get that. All right, so for today, we're actually going to be covering uh, probably something that you guys have seen before. If not, cool, hey, something new. Um, and that has to do with the high resolution screenshot capability inside of Unreal Engine. Now to access that, if I just close this, all you need to do is go up to your viewport, click the little drop down here, and this is the high resolution screenshot. And that is it, that's pretty much all you need to do. You can choose to crop the region that you want or you can just choose to take a screenshot. Now the first thing that I'll make note of that you need to understand is that this screenshot is going to be based on your viewport resolution. So very, very important to take note here if you want to be consistent in the overall resolution and output size of your screenshots. My best recommendation is you can click in your viewport, press F11 which will go full screen, um, or if you don't remember the hotkey, just go over to here, and it should be underneath this immersive mode. And there you go. So this will maximize to your screen size to then be able to take your high resolution screenshot. Okay, I'm gonna go and exit out of this. All right, so let's just cover real fast the high resolution screenshot and some things to take note of. Uh, the first thing is this screenshot size multiplier. Now, if you're familiar with rendering images and how to get crispness and how to make things look nice, my general recommendation is if this is gonna be like a portfolio shot, go ahead and take this screenshot multiplier to two. And what that will do is that will double your viewport resolution to then you can scale it down to whatever image program that you want, uh, that usually nets a, a little bit sharper, a little bit more crisp image, which is kind of just a little quick technique. Um, next thing we have here is this use date time stamp as image name. Um, you could do that so when it outputs, generally, um, if you have this unchecked, it'll just say high resolution screenshot, 00001, 0002, etc. Um, so you can use this date time stamp. Um, that may be very helpful, especially if you do an iterative uh, screenshot so you know exactly when you took it um, and what the name is. Include buffer uh, visualization targets. Um, this is something we'll cover a little bit later, but you can do the different buffers. You just have to specify them on output. Uh, this is one way to do that. The, uh, the last thing here, um, in fact, actually, when you check these, you'll see that you get these guys. The last thing here is this use custom depth as mask. In fact, if you click it, it's like, cool, you get a green screen. Um, what exactly, how do you control that? So um, I'm just going to take this uh, this statue that we have here in our scene. Now, I've just grouped it for easier selection in case I accidentally click it off. Um, but with all of our objects inside of our scene, um, they have a really cool parameter that we can target that allows us to actually use this custom depth as mask. So if I go on over here and underneath search details, what I'm going to look for here is, I believe, depth. Uh, you can also get it through render, but depth is usually a bit easier. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and turn on our use custom depth as mask. If you notice, I get green screen. And if I go to this render custom depth pass and I click it on my object, you can now see that the object appears with that green screen in uh, behind it. Now, what's really cool about this, if you take a look at kind of this cobblestone here, this ground, you'll notice that it's still rendering what's ever in front of it. So it's not necessarily that it is creating a, uh, a green screen of sorts, uh, but what's really cool about this, I can take this statue now in this render depth pass, click off of it so I don't get my highlight, and now if I actually do a high resolution screenshot, that green screen is not going to appear in my render. In fact, it's just going to be this transparent image, which is really cool. So again, to do that, just select your objects and make sure you have this render custom depth pass. Make sure it's in there and just check it. Um, you can do that for whatever you need. So just a quick little fun way to do that. 
All right, another little kind of tip here that might actually be advantageous. So your screenshot size multiplier, you can take that to two. But another thing we can do, in fact, if I zoom in here a little bit, just so we can get some, some detail here. So if I click up on, um, I believe it's gonna be our drop down here. And if you notice, I have screen percentage. If I actually take this up to 200, you notice things get really crisp. In fact, let's go into something where we've got a lot of high frequency detail here. This is kind of another little way that you can get just a little extra crispness in your um, in, in your high resolution screenshot. So again, by default, this is gonna be set to 100, which isn't necessarily bad, but you notice some details get a little bit blurred. In fact, let me go and just turn off real time so we don't see this move. So if we take a look at the stones and the um, and the leaves here, if I take my screen percentage up to 200, boom, there you notice things get really, really crisp. So that I can go back into my high resolution screenshot, leave it at one's fine, press F11 to go to an immersive mode and take my shot. So that'll make things look really, really nice without having to do any kind of post-processing sharpening. So again, um, a very common tool that you may or may not know about, um, that is the, the high resolution screenshot, uh, but with a couple different settings, you can actually use it as a pretty powerful tool for uh, exporting your images. So um, I hope that helps. Thanks again for all you guys' support. Stay safe. We'll catch you on the next one.